Uh, my name is Ejito Matala, I come from Angola. Papa, can you also introduce yourself to us? Sir, my name is Jose Tomatala. I'm coming from Luanda, Angola. Can I speak with you? Huh? Yes. Can I speak with you? Yes. I saw, I saw you going to school. Huh? Yes. From there, I see you graduating. I don't know. Yes, I graduated. Huh? Yes, I graduated. Yeah, I see you graduating, but I'm seeing a problem with a job. Yes. Huh? Yes. So listen, I'm going to pray for you. As I said, I'll be very fast. I'm going to pray for you, and God is going to give you this job. Huh? Amen. Because you're just crying to get a job, crying to get a job. I had something like Tom, Toma, Tomatala. Tomata. Huh? Yes, Tomatala. Tomatala. Yes. Huh? Yes, Tomatala. Listen, I also had a person called Jocelyn. Uh, Jocelyn is Jocelyn. Name, name of my mother. Huh? It's the name of my mother. It's the name of your mother. Yes. Listen, I'm going to pray for you, and God is going to help you today. Are you hearing me? Yes. Um, huh? Yes, I am. And who's this? Uh, this is my father. Come, come here, sir. Come. Let me pray for both of you because to him is crying about the issues of calling. Calling, I don't know. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's like you're crying for God to use you. Yes. Huh? Yes. But there's a problem in your ear. Yes, yes, huh? exactly. Exactly. I'm hearing sound in your in your ear. Exactly. Huh? Yes. I'm hearing grrr. Something yes, like yes, a sound yes. in your ears. Yes. Huh? Yes. Listen, I'm going to pray for you. This demon is going to leave you today. Amen. Amen. And the issue of you must pray. You must just pray. Mm -hmm. Because we also it's like Satan is also attacking your marriage. Yeah. Huh? Yes. So I'll pray for you. I believe in your family today there will be a restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. And you don't know what you'll get a job. Yeah. Yes, sir. You'll get a job. Amen. Yes. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? I received the prophecy that this year or maybe next year, but I'm sure that this year I will get a job after graduation. And for how long have you been searching for a job? Uh, f almost five, four, four years almost. And the fact that you're not getting any job, how has that affecting you? Well, uh, I've been a, a little down because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not having time finding motivation to keep looking for a job because I'm not finding anyone. I was, uh, I'm just a little, I'm little sad sometimes because I'm not finding one. It's, it's what's affecting me. Is, the, is that the reason that brought you here today? Uh, honestly, uh, it's because m my father came with us. He, he t t told me about the church and I came with him. And I, I was hoping to find a solution here. I'm hoping to find a solution and I know we'll find a solution here. And now that the man of God has located you and spoken with you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling well. I'm feeling delivered. I feel federally relieved. So I'm feeling relieved. I'm feeling hopeful that things will get better. Papa, can you also confirm the prophecy that you received today? Exactly. The man of God said that um, we have got attacks in our marriage, and I uh, can confirm it to be true because it was some time ago my wife fell sick. So they were saying it was uh, fibroid, and she was booked for operation. And when we went there, she was operated, but there was no fibroid inside. So I confirm the prophet, the prophecy to be true. And that of the noise in my ear is also true. So I used to have a terrible noise here in my right ear. So I believe uh, that uh, since I'm prayed, this one is over. And how were these challenges affecting you? So it was affecting me, uh, as they said, I pray to hear God. And uh, I didn't know that this was an attack a way of uh, impeding me to hear from God. So, since it is uh, said by the man of God, I believe that, that this problem is over. And uh, what I'm expecting will happen. And how are you feeling now, now that they've prayed for you? So I'm feeling uh, peace in my heart that since we are traveling today, in a few minutes time, so we are traveling with uh, that feeling that God has heard our prayer. So we're just expecting good things in the future. And uh, by God willing, we will come back to testify. Is this your father? Yes, my father. Were you aware about the challenges that he's mentioning to us? Uh, most, of, most of the challenges I only learned here 
and in the presence of the men of God. I, will, uh, I didn't know that my father was going to some of these issues until we, they, we came here and they were re revealed to us. And when you heard it through prophecy today, how, uh, how, what is it that was going through your mind? Honestly, I was, I was more, more surprised than anything. I, I wasn't expecting that my father's real problem was an attack from my family, that the bad spirits were attacking my father. And what is it that you believe that God will do for you and your family? It will open the ways and the opportunities that we, we'll, be, we'll be looking for. It will bless our family, give us deliverance to our family, and we'll bless, and we'll bless us for all eternity. Words of encouragement to the viewers? If you want to, if you want to get deliverance in your life, come to Cherish Missionary Church. Oh, my name is Ebenezer. The woman beside me is my wife, who is called Jacqueline. Where is your husband, Mama? We need to. We, there's somebody. I don't know. Ebene, who's Ebenezer? Huh? Ebenezer. Huh? It's me. Oh. I came back with an anointing from Taiwan. So, by the grace of God, uh, I always tell people that you know, in charity. It's just our puppy. You know, it's just our puppy, but Jesus is Lord. Amen. I want to pray for you. Amen. Because I saw a problem in your marriage. I don't know, it's like, you probably are from Tanzania? Yes. Yes, huh? yes, yes. I saw a problem of a child. Yes. Children. Yes, yes huh? You don't have children? Yes. You don't have huh? I want to pray for you Amen. because already it's like this, there's a spirit that is trying to divide you already as I'm speaking. So I'm going to pray for you and I believe your marriage will stand. And after I pray for you, there will be a child that will come. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? I hear. Amen. Huh? Yes. yes. Can I get an amen? Are you hearing me? I hear. Huh? We hear. Do you believe what I'm telling you? Yeah, yes, we believe. I believe. Huh? We believe. we believe. So you brought them. Are you the one who brought these people? Huh? Listen, I will pray for you. Don't worry about this thing. Because to you, I saw there's a spirit that is trying to sleep with you. So I'm just seeing a spirit that this spirit is trying to press you. And when you are pressed like this, this spirit is trying to do something with you. But I will pray for you and I believe you will be delivered today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because already now people of the family they are starting to talk now. Yeah, my brother. I'm seeing people of your family. They are starting to talk now. You know, so we are going to shame Satan today. Amen. Okay. Are you hearing me? I hear. I'll pray for you and there will be a child. The child will come. Amen. Amen. And can you tell us what the prophet has said to you and also confirm it? Yeah, he, he told us it uh, about the uh, first our name, uh, second we don't have a child. That is true, and it's after prayer we c we go to get a child. Yeah. And for how long have you been married and wanting a child? Oh, seven years now, tw 2011 to now. And how was it affecting you that you've been married for so long but you are not receiving the fruit of the womb? Everyone, when after Mary, he need a child. So he, he, eff he affect us because some people are toxic, many, many worlds. So that is affected. Yeah. And can you also confirm the prophecy you received? Which one? The issue of the child that the, uh, your husband is saying. Yes, it is true. How was it affecting you? It's affect me because I am, uh, I am a woman and I want a child. So at the same time, I'm feeling bad. And do you believe as the man of God has prayed for you today, God will do something? Yes, 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 we believe. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, we when you're coming here, I had John. John. Huh? John. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because the reason why, it's like you probably have got the same problem. 
Yes, huh? exactly. You brought those people. Yes. Even you have got a problem with a child. Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. yes. And now they want to kill this mama. Yes. yes. Because I'm just seeing spirit of snakes. Okay. That are trying to visit her when she's sleeping. This is a spirit that is coming from the water. So I want to pray for you because to me, when I look at you, there's something that is eating your blood. blood. Because she can't stand long. Sometimes she feels very weak. Yes. yes. Oh, you hear me? She yes. doesn't sleep during the night because she urinated the whole night. Listen, I'm going to pray for her. And yes. I believe God is going to help her today. Amen. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Amen. And I believe God will help you. Amen. Amen. Because you, you're, you're crying for so many things also. Yes. You're crying for God also to use you. Yes. Huh? Yes. And there's nothing now at the present moment. Exactly. Man. I'll Amen. pray for you. There will be a restoration in your marriage. Amen. And I believe there will be a restoration also. Amen. In what you want. Yes. Amen. Because there are so many things that you're praying for. Yes. And this mama, she won't be weak anymore. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. I'm just seeing that it's like... Yes. Also, her kidneys. Yes. yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Her kidneys are affected. Yeah. Yes. When she drinks water, water doesn't stay long in the system. Yes. Exactly. From there, she goes to the toilet. Yes. yes. Huh? Yes. yes. I'll pray for you Amen. because I just had pains here. Yes. yes. At the back. Yes. yes. Huh? Yes. yes. I'll pray for you. God is going to help you today. Amen. If you go to the doctor, they will tell you that you've got a kidney failure. Yes. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm saying if you go to the doctor now, they will say you've got a kidney failure. Yes. yes. And also they will say high blood. Yes. Amen. So, but I'm going to pray for you. God will restore your marriage today. Amen. 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 And can you tell us the prophecy you just received and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God told us that uh, we have the problem of the child and uh, we confirm to be true. Uh, we have, uh, we mailed since uh, 2006 until now. Uh, we are not uh, in breast by the child. And Mama, can you also confirm the prophecy that you received with your husband? The man of God said that I have a kidney problem and and I have a problem of ch children. And how was that affecting you? Uh, of course, because uh, as a married couple, we're expecting children as one of the blessings. So sometimes we feel bad that we uh, worship God, but we are not blessed by the children. So some people are speaking, as you know, that they have no children, even those they are serving the God. Yeah. And is that the reason that brought you here today? Yeah, the, the first reason is the child, but also for the sickness of my wife. Yes, that's why we came here to seek for the solution. Yeah. And Mama, how was the fact that you've been married for so long, but you were not receiving the fruits of the womb? How was it affecting you? Um, every, every day, every... So now that the, the man of God has prayed for you, what is it that you believe God will do for you? So we, we believe that we receive, uh, we receive a word of God uh, that will come to pass to our life. Yes, so we are going back to Tanzania hoping to have children, but also the healing that has been taking place to my wife. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, if we have uh, uh, encounter with some challenges, it's good to know that God is the solution for everything. Yes. My name is Muchachi. I'm coming from Teflop around Polokwane. There's a lady coming from Polokwane. I don't know. Polokwane? Is it? Huh? No, no, no. Wait. Polokwane. Tef. Tef. Teflop. Come here. And I'm seeing another one coming from Pulukwani. It's, it's, um, this one is it's a guy, this one. It's a boy. I don't know. I want to pray for you. Yeah, from, I had... I had a person called Majaji. I don't know. 
Yes, my huh? name is Mujaji. I had Mujaji. Yes. I saw in, can I tell you what I'm seeing? I'm yes. seeing in 2014, you bought a car. Yes. Huh? Yes, I bought but a car. But I'm seeing that you can't drive this car. Yes, you must, you must bring it here so that I drive it for you. Because you've got fear here now. Huh? Yes, I have fear. It's like when you enter inside the car, you feel like you'll get an accident or something. Yes, huh? I, I feel like something is channeling me to go outside of the road. Yes, since 2014, I can't drive it. Do you know a person called Mwako? Mwako is my husband. Mwako? Yes. And he's also here right now. What is he? At the back there. Uh, let's bring him. We need to drive this car. So long it has been sent. Can is there Mwaku? Is there anyone called Mwaku? Yes, Mahash. Mwaku, come. <laughs> Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. You know, we have to we have to make it like it's a service. Because now, if we don't say amen, it feels like, Ash, we are somewhere else. Say amen again. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Again. Amen. Again. Amen. Again. Amen. amen. God has given you a child, you can go. Say, so I saw you are lucky because you're not a visitor. So yes. I just called you, the grace of God has allowed it. Thank you. I saw in 2014, I saw a car that yes. was bought. Yes. Huh? Yes. And now I heard that your wife, she's having fear. Exactly. She can't even drive this car. That's the truth. Huh? That's the truth. So now I want to pray for you so that this fear must go away. Thanks. But that's not the problem. Okay. I saw also high blood okay. yes. on you. Yes. That's yes. it, yes. Huh? Exactly. I saw high blood. Yes. Exactly. Because I'm just hearing your feet somehow. Okay. Huh? Yes. yes. Today I'll pray for you and God is going to heal you. Thanks. Amen. And <clears throat> we need to pray for where you're waking. Amen. Because I'm just seeing problems there. Amen. Where you're working. Amen. So I'll pray for you. You need to be careful about where you're working. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because I'm just seeing enemies around you. Did you hear what I'm trying to say? Amen. Yes. It's like the way I'm seeing it, God wants to lift you people. Because also there's minds of business. Amen. Uh, say, So I want to pray for you, but I heard there's a person called Mwako that we also need to pray for. Okay. I didn't know that he, he was here. Oh. So I believe today after I pray for you, this fear must go away. This is a demon Amen. that is causing this. Amen. How do you buy a car and it sit, you know, it, the car is just in the house. It can't go anywhere. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, Because I even understand. when you enter inside this car, you feel, you feel afraid. Yes. As if something will happen. Yes. Huh? Listen, this fear will go away. You must go and enjoy your car. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received uh, from Prophet Andres and also confirm it? I confirmed the co prophecy because I came here as a visitor. I came yesterday and my da daddy spoke to me. The very same prophecy I received today is the same that daddy told me yesterday that I've been struggling with the car. I bought it in 2014. I could not drive it till today, but today I believe God has healed me and I'm totally delivered. And why weren't you able to drive the car? I was just getting that uh, fear and when I enter inside the car, I would develop fear that will lead me to go outside of the road. Then I will give up. Then I would end up parking the car at home taking a text to, to my workplace and everywhere. And the mere fact that you bought a car but you were not able to drive it, how was that affecting you? 
It, it, this thing was affecting me a lot because at my workplace where, where I'm working, I'm supposed to, to drive it to the meetings, but I could not drive to those places. Always I had to rely on some other people to take me to those meetings. It was re really difficult for me because I ended up isolating myself from other people because this thing was hurting me. Even other people, th those bought, who bought the cars after me, they are now driving. They removed their L and now I'm still left with that L. It was really difficult for me and the, remember even though I said I'm saved but I was living with the spirits every now and then and what is it that you believe that this word of prophecy you have received today will do upon your life I, 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 I believe, I strongly believe, and even before I left home, I fasted for three days. I was telling my God that, you know, I've been through places, and I think today you are going to locate my problem, and you are going to deliver me for good. And now I received my healing, and I know that, and I believe that I'll continue to drive my car without fear. Any words of encouragement to those that are watching as you today have received a word of change? I would like to encourage those who are watching that they must keep on believing as I kept on believing since from 2014 as I mentioned that I've been struggling. I got saved in 2014. 2014 years, the same year June, but I was struggling, but I kept on believing. I encouraged them to keep on believing that if you keep on believing, one day your God will save you. Even though it's hard, it's difficult, but you must hold on. Uh, my name is Benedict Pigelele Shandale. I'm originally, I'm from Tanin actually, but I work in Polukwan. We need to pray for you. Because I just saw your life in a cage. Are you with me? Yes. So it's like, I don't know, the way I'm seeing it, it's like everything that you want to do, there's no breakthrough. Yes. So I want to pray for, why are you working? In Polukwan. Because I heard you complaining about the issues of your job. Everywhere where I've worked, I've worked at different places. The people always hate me for no reason. That's what I'm saying. That yes. I'll see you complaining, and I'm seeing wrong people around you. Yes. That it's like, always you think about, maybe it's better I leave this job, because I'm seeing a serious hatred. Even in June, July, I was thinking of quitting. Huh? Even in June and July this year, I was thinking of quitting the job. Because... This is a spirit that they've given you that wherever you go, people must just hate you for nothing. It has happened since 2003. Listen, I'll pray for you. This spirit, whoever that has done this, I'm going to reverse this case today. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I just saw a gathering of people that they were talking against you. There was, it's like no one loves you where you're working. The way I'm saying it. 100%. And uh, uh, to me, I can't say they're wrong because when they're looking at you, they're not seeing you. Yes, they're I, just seeing I a believe. Demon. Huh? Yeah, yes, I, it's also what I believe. Yes, they're just seeing somebody that they don't understand. So it's something that, you know, they, it, it's like somebody casted a spell on you. Are you hearing me? Yes. But I will pray for you. And the Holy Spirit is telling me that I must tell Benedict. Sorry? Huh? Yeah, my name is Benedict. Huh? My name is Benedict. You're free. You're free, sir. Thanks. You're free. Bring him. You're from Zanin? Huh? You're from Zanin? Yes. Yes. We need to pray for you because you, you, both of you, you are sick. You and your husband. Come out! Listen, God will fight for you, and I believe this spirit will go away. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. From today, I'm telling you, God is going to fight for you. Amen. And whoever that is standing against you, that person will fall. Amen. For your sake. But, uh, wait. Holy Spirit is telling me something. 
Let's, because, I don't know, have you ever been to the doctor? Huh? Sorry. Did you go to the doctor? Yes, I've been because, to the uh, doctor. Listen, doctors. listen. Because I'm, what I'm hearing is that even when you go to the doctor, it's like the doctors can't see your problem. They can't. Huh? They, they can't. They always tell me that there's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing, even, and you're even, feeling uh, weak. Even when I tell them the problem, like with this constipation. Yes, your stomach. Yes, I can't the problem it's for me to go. And can you tell us the prophecy you've just received from the man of God and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God has uh, prophesied about my life, all of the suffering which I've gone through at my workplaces and all the sicknesses which uh, emanate mostly from my stomach where I've got this permanent constipation which the doctors can't see and even those who, like, uh, those I, who I tell that I've got this problem the medication which they give me, it doesn't work at all. Some of it, I just feel like it is make, just making things worse. And this is what the man of God has told me about and has uh, prophesied that everything is going to be well for me at work and also within my body. And you said you had a permanent constipation and you were given medication that was not helping you. How was this constipation affecting you? It is affecting me because uh, it is like when I eat, the body, the, the food which I've eaten, it can't get out of my, 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 my body, out of my system. And then it is like it becomes a poison because my, my body starts to, to feel very p painful. It's like after I've eaten or something, I will, even after long, after I've eaten, I will feel hard pressed to go to the loo. But when I get there, it will be just the air which comes out, or just a small piece which comes out. I can spend maybe 10 to 15 minutes sitting in the loo with nothing coming out. And that thing, that food which refuses to get out, it is like something has tied my intestines, blocking that food, that dirt inside from coming out. And once it is inside, it makes my body to be painful. It's like I've been beaten up or I've been sleeping over a concrete slab or, or something. And my body also, it, it gets tired even when I rest. It, you feel like when I'm, I, I'm tired and now I say I want to rest, uh, I feel more pains. It's like the bed which I'm sleeping on has got stones on it. My body, my feet, uh, they all, uh, even my hands, it depends. They just get very painful, every part of my body. And the other things that you find that if I, I study, the following day my body, it can even go on for days or weeks. My body becomes painful so that I even stop studying because I'm fearing bringing up those pains, which are even, if I, there is no such fear, but I can't study because I'm in pain. And now what days, things have gotten worse because even before I study, just the thought that after work I will study. My body bit by bit as the day goes by, it will start to be painful. It will start to maybe with the hands starting to be painful around 9 or something, around 11, then it will be my legs, and then around 1 o'clock, it will be my, my nose which becomes dry, and my eyes will come, which become very painful, and my skull, it feels like it is so dry. I get this headache which even the medication can't, can't assist with. So I end up no longer studying, and this is what I've been trying to do, which I, uh, I think is something, I, I can't remember how the man of God put it, that there is something which I've been wanting to do, but there is something which is preventing me. So th that's, those are uh, my main, main, main problems. And for how long have you been having these problems? Uh, what I'm telling, okay, what I'm telling you about this constipation, it started with a, 
uh, I don't know how to, to, to call it, a constipation of the urine in 1986. I was doing a, a, a standard standard two, which I think now is grade four. That's when it started. I would feel hard pressed to go and take a pee, but when I go and take a pee, even for one for a, a drop to come out, it was a struggle for me. I will try to press and press, and nothing would come out. And that year was a year of Belaizia. So my mother, my late mother thought maybe it was a Belaizia and where I was studying, she was a principal there. So the people from the Department of Education came to the, to, to the schools, all the schools actually, to test the learners for Belaizia. They, they t tested me, they saw nothing wrong with me. And then my mother took me to a private doctor, the private doctor tested me, he declared me to be 100% healthy. But that problem, persisted and persisted and then she took me to the Sangomas and then they said I had to be like there is there did perform this function at home at my father's place who was like by then divorced from my mother so that thing my father's family they they refused they were always giving excuses that thing never happened so that thing it continued I would always wet the bed even when I was playing, I would always wet my trousers because when wanting to take a pee and nothing comes out, I would end up uh, like saying, no, let me get out this drop uh, in, in, in my trousers. And then there will be a lot of urine coming out. And when I try to unzip the trousers so that I can finish outside, everything just stops. That urine just stops. So th my illnesses, they started in 1986. And then all those years, they've been some... Uh, this one I'm telling you about now, about the urine. It, uh, like, uh, eventually, like, somewhere, it, it, it got better. After I was started going to another church, I think it was 19, 1988, if I'm not wrong. But around 19, uh, I think it was 1991, where I had a problem with the, with something like a sinus. And then in 93, I realized that when I study, as I was sitting, I would feel like there is maybe 80 kilogram of a, a bag of millimil on top of me. And my legs will feel very heavy. Uh, for, for, for me to get that pain out i had to stand up and you can't study while you are standing up or i had to like go and lie on the sofa and now that they've prayed for you how are you feeling uh now uh, it is it is difficult to tell because as i've said these things they happen mostly when i think of studying or after studying but do you believe that God has healed you and delivered you today? I, I believe, uh, I was telling one of my sisters I came with that even before I came here, I've been observing since like this August that these things which I'm telling you about, the pains after studying, they were not only happening with the studying, they were also happening with the uh, working at work. When I like, I work over time, more hours. The following day, my body will be similarly painful like as I was studying, but I've been observing like the beginning of this month that these pains, I'm no longer feeling them, and I'm planning to start studying uh, on, on Tuesday, and I hope I don't feel these pains. So I've got this hope that uh, I am healed. Uh, everything will be in the past. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, the words of encouragement, like I have explained the years, uh, since 1986 until now, it is never to give up. It is not never to allow the devil win over you. To always have trust that something good is going to happen into your life. And that's what I believe is about to happen in my life. Like the man of God, uh, the apostle, prophesied yesterday and now the his son the man of god has just confirmed it my name is gabayne shapte i come from zanin can you also introduce yourself to us 
My name is Mr. Kele Desta Mantamu. I'm coming from Zanini. So these are the only people that are coming from Zanini? Huh? Yes, I'm yes. from Zanini. You came with, but you people, you're not visitors, eh? It's like this, this row. You're not visitors, eh? No. Okay. So, and why are you crying? Huh? You are doing what? You are happy for them, eh? God will also do it for you. Because you are, I can see that you are crying. Huh? Where, where there's the Holy Spirit, there's a solution of every problem. Are you hearing my, my girl? Don't cry. Hey, the way she's crying. <laughs> the way she's crying. Don't worry. Hey, you're touching my heart. <laughs> uh, where there's the Holy Spirit, there's a solution of everything. You must, you must ask us where we are coming from. You know, it's only God that lifts people up. We have got uh, many, this time of, you know, in this life, we've got many false prophets that are sleeping around, doing that, everything. But I always cry that God must raise the rightful prophets that will silence the mouth of Satan. Amen. And God is doing it. Amen. I'm telling you. God is doing it. So you people, you must pray for us. Can I speak with you? Huh? Yes. I saw, okay, let me tell you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a demon coming to sleep with the husband. Huh? Can you talk? I'm seeing, I'm seeing a spirit, like a spiritual wife, trying to sleep with you. Can you speak English? Yes. I'm seeing a demon coming to sleep with you as a spiritual wife. And on the other side, I'm seeing another demon sleeping with your wife. It's true. True. It's like when this other one is uh, it's attacking you this side. The other one is attacking you, attacking the wife. Huh? Yeah. Strong. Because now when I look at your wife here in the stomach, there's a problem. Yes. Serious problem. Strong. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I'll pray for you because your stomach is like it's getting swollen sometimes. Huh? Yeah. Yes. And it's like there's water inside. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. I'm going to pray for God is going to help you. Are you hearing me? Because you, to me, when I look at you, they want to kill you. Because you people, when you sleep, I don't know what kind of a demon is this. You people, when you sleep, when she's having bad dreams, even to you. Huh? Can you talk? Talk. Strong. 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 Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes. It's like they attack you, and you people must pray. Ah, you people, you're not praying. Ah. Because when they attack your wife, say, they attack you at the same time. Listen, you came here so that God can redeem you from this situation. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yeah. When, yes. Because you've been getting worried too much about your wife. So from today, you must never be worried. God has provided Amen. a solution today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Huh? Yes. I'm going to pray for you because I'm just seeing a problem in the stomach. I'm, I'm hearing water in the stomach. Yes. Huh? Yes. And now this thing is like it's making the stomach to do like this. Yes. Huh? Yes. And from there she'll be feeling pains here in the stomach. Yes. So listen, I'll pray for you. God is going to help you today. Amen. You heard what I'm trying to say? Yes. yes. Because this this problem is coming from a spiritual husband. As I said, the way I'm saying it, it's like when a spiritual husband is sleeping with your wife, even you, you'll be singing your own songs. Today I'll pray for you. Your wife will be, she won't be sick anymore. 
Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. Do you know a person called Mantemo? Yes, my grandfather. Mantemo? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Man, Mantemo, Mantemo. We need to pray because uh, sh, your family, hey, your family, oh, they, it's, I, I can say it's, it's by the grace of God for you to be saved. Yes. Amen. Let, Amen. Me, put, let me put it that way. Amen. I think it will, it will make more sense now. Are oh, you hearing me? It's true, yes. So you, you are saved by the grace of God. Amen. Yes. So I'll pray for you and you'll be healed today. Amen. Amen. The way this lady is dreaming is very bad. Eh? Huh? Yes. Because I'm seeing even snakes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. And these snakes is like sometimes they want to bite you. It's true. Huh? It's true. Jesus Christ is the ultimate. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Is she the one that was sleeping there yesterday? Yes. Oh, she's healed already. Amen. 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 Touch here, touch here, touch here. Touch here, down here, down, down here, down. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak healing in your life. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. You people, you are free. Amen. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Can you tell us the prophecy? What is that the prophet said and also confirmed? Huh? The one we took is through his story. Is that one the one the devil is attacking me? It's through his prophecy for me. Can you tell us what is it that the man of God has said and also confirm it? Mantemo. I can't hear the name. Healed in the name of Jesus Christ. This is attack is from devil spirit. So today we are free in the name of Jesus Christ. What was happening in your lives? Uh, it's too much challenges. I was dreaming too much bad things. I have got problem like this. I go hospital. I go private doctors. They don't get a problem. They just they say you have got a lot of water. So I don't have a choice. I just come to the man of God to pray and for healing me. He also mentioned the issue of a spiritual husband. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, is, I was dreaming a spiritual husband last year uh, from January. From January, I was busy dreaming a spiritual husband. I was sleeping. So since that time, he was attacking me. My life is be challenged. So this ancestral spirit and the spiritual husband, how was it affecting your relationship with your husband? I don't know. He just took say from his grandfather. The prophecy says from grandfather. Mm. When were you aware of that? I don't know. And now that you've been prayed for, how are you feeling? Now I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better, better, better. Before you were feeling what? Yeah, I was painful even. I don't sit, I don't sleep. You see, I've got a lot of problem. Yesterday I was sleeping here. I changed this side, I turned this side. Now I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Come again? What is it that you would like to say to others that are watching to, just to encourage them? Uh, I don't know what I can say. Must God you must bless this church and prophecy. I'm from Springs. 
is we need to pray for you because of this life that I saw. The, when I look at you, I felt like it's like there's somebody that is living, not you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. It's like you're living some. It's like you're living somewhere, somewhere, and there's a spirit that is living inside of you. Amen. And which is something that you've been feeling it. Yes. Huh? Yes. You it's always true. feel like you're not living your life. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I'm going to pray for you, but I'm hearing a person called Pumuzo. Come on. Huh? Is she your sister? Yes. Hey. Uh. So you're what, Ramabudana? Huh? Yes. I want to pray for your sister. I didn't know she's your sister. <laughs> so you're coming from a from a Burana family. Yes. You went to Munyai. I want to pray for you. And I believe God can also give you a breakthrough on Amen. the issues of marriage also. I receive. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because to you, you feel like there's a spirit inside of you that is making you not to live your life. But I want to promise you, I'll pray for you. From today, you'll live your life. Amen. Are I you hearing me? Amen. Huh? Amen. Receive. Let me I see. receive. I receive. Huh? I receive. So I'll pray for you. Yeah. Because she's very shy. And... I want to pray so that, you know, she must be uh, Makoti. <laughs> you want to be Makoti? I haven't thought about it. I know. So I will pray for you, and I believe God will do it. Are you hearing me? Amen. But you, what is important is that you need deliverance so that you can live your life. Because Amen. you people in your family, you've got many attacks. But from today, God is going to set you free. And where is your boyfriend? I, I currently don't have one. So what happened to this one? You... We just separated. You separated? Yes. And another thing, we need to pray for you because Ish. we need to pray because I'm just hearing that there's a problem of menstruation. Yes, it's true. Huh? Yes, it's true. And now this thing, it makes you to, it brings a smell. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know. Huh? Let me not speak many things. Let me not speak many things. You're free. You're free. Um, I want to pray for two people that are coming from a place called Springs. I don't know. Springs. Are you husband and wife? Even you, are you not coming from Springs? Huh? Are you not coming from Springs? Uh, so you people, you are afraid. Don't be afraid. Even people, you know, people, they pray and pray. When it's time to receive a solution, they are afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You can... No, no, no. Are you the husband of this one? Yes. I'm pushing this one aside. Go there. Yes. You must stay there because you are not married. Huh? You must, because this one's the couple. <laughs> I want to pray for you. And I believe God will help you today. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Are you a vendor? Yeah, I'm a vendor. (coughs) 
but what I'm seeing is that we need to pray for you. your marriage. More so, we need to pray for your child. Mm. Huh? Amen. Mm. Because, is this one? Uh, huh? Yeah, How many so children do you have? On the other side, in our village, and the other one, the other one, the other one, the other I'm seeing, I don't know, I'm seeing a child diagnosed with bronchitis. I don't know, it's something like that. And then we all admit it. It's this one. Uh. So I'm going to pray for this child. I, I believe God will heal this child. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because it was worrying the mother too much. Mm. So don't be worried from today. She, she, this child will be fine. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So I'll pray for you. In the beginning, I said, let's pray for your marriage because your marriage must stand. There's a case that is following you. Mm. This is a case of, you know, you must never have a stable home. It's mm. like they don't want you to marry and settle down. Mm. You must have this relationship to another one, to another one. Are oh, you hearing mm. me? Mm. So, but I will pray for you. After I pray for you, I believe there will be a restoration. Amen. And don't worry about this child. This child is here today. Amen. But mm. I'm seeing you doing something. Are you a boxer? A professional huh? boxer. Uh. I'm seeing you beating people. <laughs> huh? Uh. Are you beating people? And I'm seeing sure. you wearing gloves. Uh. Huh? Mm. And you are boxing. Uh. But there's no progress in this, in mm, what you're wrong. doing. Yeah, because I'm just seeing you crying to get sponsors and many, many, many things. Uh -huh. Listen, I'll pray for you. And I believe there'll be a turnaround of your life today. Amen. Because you have been delayed and delayed Amen. in the issues of your career. Huh? Mm. So you can box me. <laughs> 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 yeah? So you are dangerous, you can box. I want to pray for you so that you can box well. When you, you know, after I pray for you, you will box people until, ish, I don't know. <laughs> Amen. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I will pray for you so that you must box them. You box them. But what is important now, you need to, to love your wife and Tell yourself that I will never allow any demon to separate me with my wife. Mm. Are you hearing me? Amen. Chifiwa. Eh, Chifiwa. Because I just said Chifiwa. Mm. Chifiwa. Munya, Munyai. Munyai, Chifiwa. Munyai. Huh? Mm. Listen, hey, she's very much afraid. <laughs> I'll pray for you and God will help you. Huh? Are you hearing me? Amen. So, you people, you must know that I told you from the beginning, you must open your heart. There's nothing that is hidden from God. Amen. So, he knows what I'm, trying, what I'm saying about the issues of relationships. So, I'll pray for you and God will lift you up. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Come on. Come out, you demon. Bring her. She's got a demon. Don't, you demon. What are you doing here? Huh? I'm saying, what are you doing here? Huh? Because you are here, I'm afraid to touch people's stomachs. Press here. Come out! Come out! Come out! Your spirit. Come out! I'll use your hand today. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! 
your spirit, your snake. Where is your mom? She's at home. We need to pray for your mom. Eh? Yes. Because I think she's sick. I'm seeing it. You're free, you're free. You people, you're free. I hope I'm fast. I hope I'm fast. Is your wife? Yes, Can we stand here? I'm sure I'm done. How many people left? And can you tell us the prophecy you just received and also confirm it? And the prophecy I received is that uh, I feel like I'm, I'm not myself. I've been feeling this for a while, that I'm living in someone's body or in, I'm living someone's life. That was the prophecy I got. And I also got a um, prophecy that I'm going to receive a marriage and also... Uh, I have a problem with my menstruation. I've seen it. I feel cramps all the times, every time I go to my menstruation, and which is true. And how is that affecting you? Every time I go to my menstruation, uh, I feel pain. I normally don't do anything during those days, and it's affecting my life. And are these the challenges that brought you here today? Yes. And now that the, uh, the man of God has spoken with you, what is it that you believe God will do for you? Sorry? What is it that you believe God will do for you? I believe that today it was my day. It was the day of my healing. And I advise everyone that they should pray, keep on praying. God will respond. And what are the words of encouragement would you like to give to those that are watching? To everyone who is watching, I will tell you that God is listening to all the prayers. You should keep on believing, keep on praying, keep on fighting, and go out for help to men of God. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'm Prophet Emmanuel. I'm coming from the United Kingdom. Sir, so we need to pray for you, and we also need to pray for your church. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, sir. Uh, listen, when you return back home, you will see what God will do in your life. Amen. But where are your children? We haven't got any at the moment. Yes. You don't have children? Yeah. I want to pray for you. Amen. Because that's one of the things that has brought you here. You, you are crying for the fruits of the womb. Yes. Huh? Mm. So I'll pray for you. I believe God will do it. Amen. Amen. I always tell pastors that come here that when you return back home, you realize, well, ah, it's like I'm carrying the grace of Cherish Missionary Church. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Absolutely. So I'm going to pray for you. And don't worry. Amen. God, God will do it. Amen. Is this your first wife? Yeah. That's my, the only one. First and the last one. <laughs> <laughs> because the reason why I'm saying this is because in your family, you know, there's a problem that many people, they fail to maintain their marriages. Mm. So, but I believe after today, after I pray for you, you know, God will make you to have a child Amen. first. Because mm. now this thing, it will end up making people of the church to talk now. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Because they are watching from a distance and say, hey, pastor, pastor needs to have a baby. So I'll pray for you. Amen. Listen, God won't allow you to be shamed. Amen. Amen. 
I'm telling you, you will do it. Amen. Hallelujah. But I, I, I was hearing that I must tell a person called Angel. I don't a know. Angela. I am Angela. Angela. Yes. So I'm going to pray for you. Amadi. Amadi. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Amadi. Yes, surname. It's your surname. Yes. Listen, I'll pray for you. And God is going to help you today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Can I pray for you? Yes. Because the anointing you got yesterday already. Amen. Amen. So from a bigger one. Yes. Amen. You see, as we are, uh, this, uh, what are this first, they call it first class, there's business class, there's economy. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you got uh, the anointing from, you know, the first class. So now me, I won't pay you for anointing. I'll pray for you for other things because me, I'm economy. I'm down there. <laughs> Lift up your hands. So my father's prayed for you yesterday for anointing, so I believe it's done. Amen. Mama, can you also introduce yourself to us? Amen. My name is um, Pastor Angel. I'm coming from London. And can you tell us the prophecy you've received and the confirmation? Yeah, the prophecy is correct and accurate um, because my dad, he married and divorced, well, separated and remarried again. His brother the same, so in that form, yeah, the prophecy was correct. Yeah. And Mama, can you also confirm the prophecy you received with your husband? Yeah, I think the prophecy is true. I confirm it to be true because we've been married for, I think, for 15 years or more. So we haven't got a child. So that's why, why we came here. So the, the prophecy is true. And as a woman, and you, when you walk around, perhaps you see other women carrying uh, their children, and you, you've been married for 15 years, and there is nothing. How is that affecting you? It has affected me so much. Sometimes I'll say, God, when are you going to give me my own children? So it affects me so much. And sometimes I cry. You know, like women, that's what we do many times. We cry. Yeah. And as uh, a husband, seeing your wife that she's suffering, going through a lot because there is no fruit of the womb and you've been married for so long. How was that for you? Uh, at the beginning, uh, after a few years of marriage, it really, really hit me, but it drove me to prayer until the Spirit of God told me that children will come. So from then, I have really not worried anymore about it. Yeah, I just trusted the Lord that he would do it. And today, as you have received a word of prophecy, a word of change, what is it that you believe that God will do for you and your wife? I know he's already done it. Uh, it's not just about children. There are other things that I came for which the apostle also picked up uh, for children, yeah, but there were other things as well, and they, you know, they've been all dealt with, so I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy they're all dealt with. Yeah. And Mama, how are you feeling now that you've received the word? Yeah, I'm so happy. I know that the Lord has done it. I, I'm very, very happy. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Um, just want to tell God's people to have faith and trust the Lord regardless of what you're going through. There is always a time appointed for each and every one of us if we don't lose faith. And there are situations that may be a bit frustrating, but if we meditate on God's word and trust his spirit, the Lord will always come through to his people. I know that. So I want to encourage everybody that may be going through whatever situation to really look up to Christ and know that he doesn't fail. Yeah. Mama, any words of encouragement? Yeah, I would like to encourage people out there, you know, when you're going through things, run to God instead of running to native doctors or crying, mourning and complaining, run to God. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He will do it for you in Jesus' name. We are coming from Botswana. My name is Stefo and she's my wife. Listen, I want to pray for you. Amen. Amen. Because I saw what you're doing. I don't know. I'm just seeing. Can I tell you what I'm seeing? Amen. Amen. I'm seeing a farm. Amen. 
Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. It's like you people want to do a, is it farming? Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. It's like you want to do a business of farming. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. But I saw, I saw a house. Huh? Amen. Amen. But it's like this house, when I'm looking at it, this house, it's not complete. Amen. Amen. Huh? That's Very true. Amen of God. I want to pray for you. Amen. Because the way I'm seeing it, God wants to open doors for you people. Amen. On the issues of business. Amen. Amen. Because this man is very much, you know, he thinks too much about business. Very true. Man. Huh? Very true. So now I believe, you know, he came here so that we can stir this thing up. Amen. Amen. And when he returned back home, I'm telling you. Amen. He must bring tithe. Amen. Amen. I'm coming in Jesus' name. <laughs> I'm telling you. Amen. Because I'm just seeing that God is going to bless him with money. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Even though now there's a problem of finances. Very, very true. true. The way Amen. I'm seeing it. Amen. Very true. But all these plans that you're having, God is, will, God is going to lift you people up. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You people, God has blessed you. I will Amen. bless you uh, as the year has blessed you yesterday. Amen. Amen. So, but again, we also need to pray for your marriage. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. Because Satan is also tempering with your marriage. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing uh, some funny, funny arguments in the house. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm trying Very to say? True. Amen. And Tefu. That's his name. That's huh? my name. That's my name. Tefu. Mm. It's my name. It's a Hesse name. I don't know, but when I'm looking at you, I'm seeing another one in Saroe. I don't know. That's me from Saroe. Huh? I work and stay in Saroe. I'm seeing another one in Tlokwe. She works it's me. in Tlokwe. It's her. I'm seeing you far away from each other. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing another one in Saroe. That's me in Saroe. I'm seeing another one in Tlokwe. Very true, man. Huh? It's true. Mm. I'll pray for you. Amen. And I believe your marriage will stand. Amen. Amen. And this house that I'm seeing, you'll finish it. Amen. It's just, amen. And God will give you these issues of farming. Amen. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? The prophet told us that he's seeing a farm. Indeed, it's true there's a farm. He's always seeing, he sees an uncompleted building. It's very true that we also have a building that is uncompleted. And he says all those the house will come to completion as well as the farm project that you want to start will come to pass. Mama, can you also confirm the prophecy? Yes, I confirm it to be true. I confirm the prophecy to be true. Amen. What was happening in your lives? I had an operation and this operation was not healing. It's, it's been three months now, but it's still painful. I believe I'm delivered today. I'm free. I'm healed. And before you were prayed for, you were still experiencing those pains? Yes, it was very painful. Um, and did it ever occur to you that maybe these pains are being caused by demons? Because when they prayed for you, you manifested. Yes, I believe they were caused by demons because it, it has been three months since the operation was done, but it was not healing. And I couldn't sleep at night because of the pains. And how are you feeling now after your deliverance? I'm feeling lighter. I'm feeling fresh. I believe I'm healed. Amen. Huh? That's true. I'm seeing an operation that is not healing. Yes. Amen. Very huh? true. Yes. Listen, this operation will heal from today. Amen. Amen. Because she's crying with pains. Yes. Yes. Very true. Huh? Very yes. true. This operation will be healed today. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And, Baba, when you saw your wife manifesting saying the things that she was saying what was going through your mind i'll pray for you come out <laughs> you demon of Botswana. come out you demon what are you doing here huh huh I want to kill her. you want to kill her because of this operation Huh? Yeah. So you're the one who's making not to not to heal. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. And then who are you? Yes. Huh? Who are you? 
Who are you? I said, who are you? You don't have a name. Huh? Uh, uh, who are you? Uh, uh, oh, Where's your mom? She's in Saroy. I said, who are you? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Huh? During the river, that's where she was operated. You don't want to talk? There's, you've got, you know, according to me, you're supposed to be very far with life now. Amen. You've got a lot of enemies. Are oh, you hearing me? Very true. They just want to, you know, to make this marriage not to work by killing this child. Amen. So, but don't worry. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 people have been prayed before. Nothing. They've been prayed before. Yes. By who? Oh, they are pastor. Yeah? They are pastor. Oh. They are pastor. Yes. So we must not pray for them because they are, the Shut pastor up. prayed for them. Shut up. Huh? Shut up. Uh, you mar. Shut up. I am asking you a question. I must not pray for them because the pastor prayed for them. Uh, Who's your pastor? With the pastor in Saroy, in Palape. In Palape. He belongs to our church. We go to the same church in Palape. Oh. Mm. Huh? The pastor prayed for them. Yes. So what she are you prayed saying? Prayed for them, and the baby died. Uh. Yes. So what are you saying? Hmm? What are you saying? Uh -huh. He will die today. We need to, your son, we need to pray for him. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, prophet. Because I don't know, it's like, I'm coming to you. Let me, let me destroy this. You realize what you are Let me alone. Get out! We're going to kill her. Yeah? We're going to kill her. You're going to kill her? Yes. How are you going to kill her? Pain, pain. By pain. the pains? Yes. She'll be healed after I pray for her. Pain. Huh? She can't sleep at night. You are saying what? She can't sleep. She can't sleep? Yes. So after I pray for her, she'll sleep. The problem is here. Yeah, that's where she normally complains about the pain. Huh? That's where she normally complains about the pain. The problem, you see where I'm touching. Amen. It's where the problem is. That's where she normally complains about the pain. Don't! You'll pay. Don't! You demon. No, 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 no,
you're free. God will bless you. I knew that it was time for God to deliver us as a family. And I believe we are now delivered in Jesus' name. And what are the words of encouragement would you like to give to those that are watching? Trust in the Lord. He will deliver your family in Jesus' name. Always trust the Lord. His way shall come to pass. Amen. Yeah, I'm Prakash from India. Where is your wife, sir? In the home. We need to pray for you people. So you also, I'll pray for you because of, you know, you, you, the zeal of saving God. Amen. And crying for the people of your, your family. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, because yes that's when you, true. When you're coming here, you're coming for the issues of direction. Amen. Huh? Yes. An impartation so that you can start the work of God. Yes. Huh? That's true. So I will pray for you. God will do it. Amen. But we need to pray for your marriage. Sure. Because I just saw that there's there's a plan that the enemy is also fighting your marriage. Are you hearing me? Yes, that's true. Are you hearing me? True. So don't worry about what Satan is trying to do. Your marriage will stand. Because I just saw the plan of Satan. And God will bring more understanding in your wife. Sure. About the things of God. Sure. Are you hearing me? Hearing, yes. Yeah, I love the way you're saying sure. You know, sure. So God is going to help you today. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes. Because your cry is you want God to use you. You want to hear from God. Amen. God will do it. But more so, there's a, there's certain want to make you sick. Are you yes, hearing me? That's true. Because I'm just hearing your body sometimes becomes weak. Are yes. you hearing what I'm trying to say? That's true. So don't worry, you'll stand. Amen. By the grace of God, you'll, you'll make it. In Jesus' mighty name. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Yeah, actually I came here to know the God's direction for my life. Uh, to do his ministry so very well uh, the God's man has been correctly pointed and he told that God will use me and he anoint me is that the reason why you came here yeah that is the only reason I came all the way from India and how do you feel that you came here wanting to hear that God if God is going to use you and you were prophesied that God is going to use you yeah the moment he told that I'm crying for my people so I really have the faith that God is hearing my prayer so surely he will use me. And what is it that you believe God will do upon your life? Yeah, surely God will uh, show me the way, the way I want to serve him. So also to do his work. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Yeah, really uh, here the God is moving here in Charis so that I can see very well uh, for, the past two, for the past two days. So anyone comes here, surely they can uh, receive the God's anointing and God's ways they can know. We need to pray for him, eh? Yes. Because I'm just seeing that, you know, Satan is against his life. Yes. What is he doing in, in Ladysmith? I'm in Ladysmith. He's in what Durban. Is, what is he doing in Durban? He said that the last time I spoke to him, he says he washes taxes. Uh, listen, I, let me tell you what I'm hearing before I finish praying for you. After I touch this lady, I'm hearing operation. Yes, Prophet. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. Is he not drinking alcohol? Everything. Huh? I'm seeing him drinking. I'm seeing him addicted with many things. Yes, Prophet. Huh? Yes, Prophet. I'm seeing him drinking. Yes, Prophet. I'm seeing him smoking. If we don't pray for him, he can end up being arrested. Are yes, you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. Because this, they want to use the problem of your son, you know, to kill you with the problem of, of the heart. Because you're always thinking about him. Yes, Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. So, but I believe by the grace of the Almighty God, you can still save this boy. Yes, Prophet. Because I'm just seeing that he's doing many, many things. Huh? Yes, Prophet. Very much addicted. Yes. I even chased him out of the house. You chased him out of the house. Yes, last That's day why August. I said, if we don't pray for him, he can end up being arrested because I'm seeing him, you know, Satan is trying to make him to live a very rough life. Mm. Yes, prophet. 
So today, after I pray for you, God is going to help you. Huh? Thank you, Prophet. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. And I believe the grace of God will also heal your heart. And help because, me too. Huh? And help me too. So he's in Durban? He's in Durban, yes. And I'm in Ladysmith. So he's doing what in Durban? When I chased him out, he went to stay. He went to the father's place to stay by the father. And he went to Mpumalanga. From Mpumalanga, I heard he was in Durban. He is in Durban now. He says he washes taxis. I wanted to ask that question, that who's having taxis? Like the people that wash other people's taxis. I think that's what he's doing. I don't yeah, know if he's... because to my surprise, I'm just seeing that he's trying to work, but the job that he's doing, it's a funny job. He couldn't finish school. Yes. Yeah. It's like he's, the way I'm seeing him, he's getting... Like, I'm seeing people give him coins. Hmm. From there, he takes the money and go and buy these things of smoking and everything. Yes, Prophet. Ladies and I'll pray for you. Don't worry about him. Yes, Prophet. So don't worry about him. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. It's just a spirit that is there. But wh where is your husband? Prophet, he's got the same problem. I've never been married. Just in and out, in and out, and all uh, funny things. Huh? I've never been married. Just the in and out. The reason I'm asking is because I heard there's a curse in your family. My mother wasn't married. She, yes. she passed away a when she... Of, there's a case of marriage. Yes. That you people, you get uh, children from outside. Yes, Prophet. From there, there's nothing. Yes, huh? pro yes Prophet. Because it just started way back there. I'll pray for you. And even the father, it's like he's doing the same things. His father. Yes. Yes, yes Prophet. Is he, he not drinking? I don't know if he's drinking. So I want to pray for you. Yes, God is going to help you today. Thank you, And prophet. may God help your son. And my family. You must pray, yeah? Yes, prophet. In Jesus' name. Amen. Touch here. God has done it. Don't worry. Amen. Don't worry. When you return back home, don't worry. Amen. There's a solution. You. You're free. My name is Unity Nezamba. I come from Calfontein. Yes. When is he going to marry you? I don't know. He's not saying anything. Are you still together? Yes, I believe so. But there's a problem so But I don't I don't see you together. Communication problems. What do you mean by communication problems? We don't communicate. He does not talk to me anymore. It's been a month now. So that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't see you together. It's true. And this thing is caused by the spirit of disappointment that has been following you. Yes, it's true. It's been one disappointment after another. It's true. Like, like your whole life. Yes. It's surrounded by disappointments. It's true. But then I'll ask you a question. Do you want him to marry you? Sorry? Do you want him to marry you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. That's why I'm here. But you also need to be delivered from the spirit of anger. Yes. Hmm? Please deliver me. Huh? Please deliver me. Because you have anger in you. Even the way you handle this child. Yes, it's true. Sometimes if I'm angry, I don't. Because you, it, it's so, like you feel like he's somehow responsible. Yeah, it's true. How is, he, how, how is your son responsible? That happens when I'm angry. He is responsible for what? For the father not talking to you? I believe that's how it comes out. How old is your son? He's three years. Three years? Yeah. 
I don't like the way you treat this child. What's his name? Chedza. Chedza way. Ed. Ed. Come. Ed. We have to pray for you for this spirit of anger because one of the reasons he left you is how you address him. Okay. Hmm? Yes. Because at times you treat him like he's a child. Yes. Sometimes I feel like he does not listen to me when we talk. If maybe we've got a problem, he does not want to listen to me. But then what must he do to show that he's listening? Um, he must jump up when you talk and say, yes, ma'am. <laughs> not really. But sometimes if I believe like when we have a problem, we should sit down and talk. So he does not give us that chance to You know sit what your problem talk. is? No. The problem is you live, a, you live a superficial life. Okay. And the people that you are relating to. Yes. What they are telling you is not even what they are doing themselves. Yes. Hmm? Yes. And somehow they are trying to run your life for you and see where it has landed you today. I always tell people, my husband is my husband. You want one, go get one for yourself. Treat him the way you want to treat him, but let me treat my husband the way I want to treat him. Yes. You understand me? Yes. So I want to pray for you so that this spirit of anger must leave you because the way you are, to be honest, no man will settle with you. It's true. The second one, the spirit of disappointment to leave you. Amen. Yeah? Amen. And for, the, for his father to to marry you, your people Amen. to get back together, but you need to humble yourself. Amen. But right now we've got a problem of communication. I don't know how I'm going to communicate with him. I don't know. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard you. You need to humble yourself. I will humble myself. I wish you can call him and apologize. I will. Because the last discussion you people had, it didn't end up well. Yes. And if you people, you don't get back, to, you don't become a family, it's going to affect you, your child. Amen. Huh? Amen. He came into your life for a reason. He was sent by God to come into your life. Amen. But you need to humble yourself. I will. So that also this case in your family can be broken. Amen. Hmm? So that this, this pattern of anti-marriage at home can be broken because it's also following you. Amen. Yeah, it's true. Where is your mother? She's at home in Venda. We also need to pray for your mother's health. I will. Hmm? We also need to pray for your mother's health, for her to, to be healed. Amen. Because she complains of pains in her body. Yes, it's true. Mm? So we need to pray for her that God heals her. Amen. And he restore your family. Amen. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? I received the prophecy that I have a spirit of anger and that I sometimes if I'm angry, I treat my baby in a different way. And I confirm them that to be true. I confirm that to be true because whenever I'm angry all the time, maybe I fought with the father, I always treat him in a bad way. I always fight him. It's like I'm taking out the anger on him. And for how long has this been happening to you? I believe it started before my child was born. We started fighting by the time I was pregnant with the father of my child. So. Uh, from then on, we always fight on smaller things, but after the prophecy, I've realized that there, there, there were times where I'm wrong, and now I have to humble myself. I should apologize for how I've been reacting towards the situation. And when the woman of God told you that you need to humble yourself and also ask for forgiveness, were you expecting that? I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting that. 
And what is it that you're going to do as she has given you a word of advice? I'm going to do as she has told me. I'm going to apologize and I'm going to humble myself. And I'm going to treat my son in a better way. And what is it that you believe God will do for you after you have done all these things that you are saying that you will go and do? I believe that uh, we'll, we'll become one and become a family as we're supposed to be. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Is that we should trust in God no matter what challenges we face. We should trust in God. God will also give you a job. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah? Yes. God will give you a job so you'll be able to take care of your child and your mother. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah? Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. Where is your wife? Can I have another somebody with the mic? Another one? Where is your wife? East London. In East London? Yes. Rosalind? No, it's Songa. Songa. I mean, she's in East London, isn't like Emma Cross in? Yes. That's why I said in Crossland. Oh, I'm yes. not saying she's Crosser. I heard like, it's like you're saying, she, is she a Crosser? No, I'm saying in Crossland. Yes. What is she doing there? She is with me. You are also in East London? Yes. Why didn't you bring your wife? Yeah. It's because of money. I didn't have enough money to bring her along. Because we need to pray for your marriage, your union. Amen. Mm? Amen. For these arguments to finish. Amen. Mm? Amen. Because it's like small things that turn into big issues. Mm -hmm. mm? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Please don't say amen, because when you say amen, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Say yes or no. Whether it's either you know what I'm saying or you don't. It's true what you're saying. Mm? It's true what you're saying. Because this, this argument, they will lead you to separation. I hear you. Because I'm seeing here complaining about money. Yes. Mm? Yes, we have financial that issue. Things are not going well. It's not enough to cater for everything. Yes. And now this thing is... I, I, I want us to pray so that it does not lead you to do things that are out of the way. Yes. Huh? Amen. Because now the devil is trying to attack you by thoughts. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yes. So you, you kind of feel like if I do something like this, at least I'll be having receiving money. But the problem is that thing is illegal. Amen. And it will get you arrested. Amen. As I'm saying, I want to pray for you so that we put an end to these arguments. Amen. Because they will end up pushing you to a wrong end. Yes. Hmm? Amen. You're a young man with a promising future. Amen. Prison is not your portion. Yes. Yeah? Yes. We're going to pray together and God will set you free. Yeah? Amen. Place your hand on your chest. Your wife has a problem in her tummy. Did she tell you? Not yet. You are free in Jesus' name. My name is Madranga Murawzi and I'm from Venda. Can you also introduce yourself to us? Lucky Murawzi, I'm also from Venda. We need to pray for Mama's health. Okay. We here? Yes. You need to pray for your mother's health because the devil wants to attack her with heart attack. Okay. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Because now I'm seeing her saying her legs are swelling up. Okay. Hmm? It's like her legs, they swell up, they come down, they swell up, they come down. 
and now her sugar and her blood pressure up, they do the same, they also rise and like that. Now it's now affecting her sleep. Okay. And her health, her eating, her appetite, everything. Her health is not in good condition. Okay. Hmm? Yes. So we need to pray for Mama so that God will heal her. Amen. For the both of you. Amen. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Because you are not in a state or in a place where you can you lose your mother. Yes. Yet. Yes, ma'am. That's true. But with that being spoken, I don't like repeating what he said. That's why I wanted him to talk to you. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. Because he's been down that road before. You understand? So, but then I want you to turn your life around. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. I want you to give your life to Christ. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. It's not going to be an easy road. I won't lie to you. But tell yourself you want better for yourself. Because you are a promising young man. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. With the level of your intelligence, you should be a businessman by now. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. But everything has ran down to shambles, like... I couldn't do in Zaralai. Which language do you speak? Venda. Venda. Then why am I hearing Zulu in my ears? <laughs> no, I speak Venda. I'm a Venda. <clears throat> I want you to give your life to Christ. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Because your future is bright. Yes, ma'am. Your future is very, very bright. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. You are an intelligent young man. I'm not just saying this, but... What I'm seeing, you are an intelligent young man with great business ideas. Yes, ma'am. The problem is you always miss your opportunity because when opportunity comes, it doesn't find you. You are always in the wrong place. Yes, ma'am. Because I don't, I don't see you doing anything. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just seeing your hands being tied, not doing anything. That's true. But I want to pray for you so that God will bless you. You get a job. Yes, ma'am. And then from a job, you venture into business. Yes, ma'am. Trust me, your business is going to flourish. But you need to turn your life around. Yes, ma'am. You need to give your life to Christ. Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Having a crowd around you doesn't help you at this age. Yes, ma'am. Because they are not taking you anywhere. Yes, ma'am. If you look, people from where you come from, people of your age are few. The rest have died already. Yes, ma'am. I don't stay in your village where you come from. I stay in Gauteng. Yes, ma'am. Came here since I was nine. Yes, ma'am. So I don't want the devil to kill you. Yes, because one of the things that is making your mother to be sick is the fact that she's worried about you. Yes, ma'am. That's true. Huh? That's true. Because I'm, I'm, I'm hearing... Uh, saying, when will you ever stop what you're doing? When, when will you ever stop what you're doing? Is it when I'm dead that you will stop what you're doing? I want you to give your life to Christ. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Give your life a new meaning. Trust me, God will take you places you never thought. Yes, ma'am. Nana, I want you to... Are you studying? Yes, I am studying. What are you studying? I'm studying at UNISA. At UT? UNISA. In UNISA? Yes. What are you doing in UNISA? I'm studying um, a BCom in psychology. I want you to be careful of boys around you. Okay. I don't want you to end up because if not, there are guys who love hanging around you. Okay. Huh? Yeah, that's true. And now some of them are now starting to have funny thoughts okay. about you. All right. I don't want you to end up as one of those girls who you, you have kids for fathers that you can point tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Hmm? Yes. You people are intelligent. Your future is bright. Thank you. Focus while you are in UNISA. Yes. Beauty doesn't last forever. I wasn't like this when my husband, I was like you when he met me. Yes. 
I've been married for two years. Look how I look already. <laughs> Imagine what I would look like after five years. Yes. You understand me? Yes, I do. Focus on your studies. Focus on God. Put God first in what you're doing. Yes. God will take your places. Never thought when I married my husband, he was a taxi driver. He used to carry you people from the airport to your guest house, to church, to your guest house. Monday morning, he takes you back home. Yes. Never thought he would turn out to be the way he is. But look at him today. God will take you places you never thought. In your wildest imagined places you never thought. Amen. Never thought I would have a husband who's famous. Well, I thought my dad was famous. <laughs> Yay. But my husband, no. Yes. I was cool in my dad's shadow. Yay. PK. Awesome. But I want you, my concern is you. I don't want you to die young. You understand? Where, where do you live? You mean at home or in Gauteng? In Gauteng. I'm living with my sister in a flat. In Pretoria? Yes, ma'am. Sunny side. Pretoria, I also live in Pretoria. It's not far. Even if they say I'm recruiting you, it's fine. Come to church here. Not anywhere else. Here. It's not far from Pretoria to here. Pretoria town, right? Yeah. Don't have transport, you tell us we'll find you transport to take your home in the evening. Come to church here. Yes, ma'am. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying this, it's because I have seen the God of here turning people's life around. Yes, ma'am. Like it's not even a joke. So I don't want you to say, go find the church because I don't know their God and I've never seen their God. But I know the God of here. Yes, ma'am. I've seen him turn people's lives around like just like that so i want you to come to church i want here yeah. i want you to give your life to christ are you hearing me yes, I yes ma'am and trust me your life is going to unfold like i don't know yes, your enemies will be shocked amen amen i'm emphasizing on you because i want your mother to beat the chest and be proud about you yes ma'am hmm? Because now some of the thing that is eating you is that there's nothing that your mother has ever said good to you. It's yeah. always complaint after complaint. Yes. So I want her to look at you and say, I bless the day I gave birth to you. Yes, ma'am. Are you understanding me? Yes, I so do So you understand. are promising me that you're going to give your love to Christ. Yes, I promise, ma'am. And I'm going to see you in church, right? Yes, ma'am. So Wednesday you'll be here? Wednesday? Yes. There's church Wednesday, there's church Sunday. You going to school? No. So Wednesday I'm going to see you here. Wednesday I'll be here. Yes. When you on Wednesday, you go to school. So it means I'll see you on Sunday. Yes, and my contract is also ending in a week's time. My in a what? internship. It's also ending in a what? It's ending in a week's time. So, what are you saying? We need that contract to be renewed. I just said to you, give your life to Christ. And he will take you places you never thought. Hmm? Yes. I know your biggest, your biggest issue is that you want to take care of your family. Because there's no money. You, you are the breadwinner at home. Yes. Hmm? yes. So I want to pray for you guys. I'm going to pray for you. Let me give you a promise. They are going to give you a job, not a contract. Amen. Amen. But when God does that for you, don't run away from God. Amen. You hear? Yes. When God does that from you, for you, hold him tight. Amen. And just know this is the beginning. It's not even the introduction. I don't know what I will say it is. By the time he, he gets to the middle part of it, explosives will be taking place. Amen. Amen. Yeah? Yes. Amen. Can, you, can I pray with you? Yes, ma'am. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. In Jesus' name. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Yes, the prophecy was very accurate. Uh, especially they were more uh, concentrating on my brother that he's got too much friends and he's putting his life in danger. And can you tell us what your sister is telling us? Yeah, I mean, what the pastor told us is truth. I've got a lot of friends with bad negative things in my life, so... 
I'm going to respect what she told me. I'm going to try my best to do what she told me. I'm going to change my life. And, and how were these bad friends affecting your life? I mean, every weekend we're always partying, we're always doing things that our parents are not even proud of. That's what I can say. And what is it that you have decided to do since the woman of God has spoken with you? I'm going to try my level best to do what I promised the pastor because I think that's the right thing I can do for me and my parents and my sisters and the whole family. And what is it that you believe God will do for you? I believe that God is going to change my life into higher levels. I be she also told me that I'm going to get a job since my contract is ending next week. Yes, I know he'll do it for us. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Um, I'll encourage people to come one-on-one. -on -one. It's it's a good service. Um, we also, I also pr uh, met Prof. Um, Makananisa. He also spoke to us yesterday. So I'll encourage people to come one-on-one -on -one since it's a big church and he doesn't have to go through each and every person.